Hello everyone. Welcome to Rev GD Rust series. This is a new uh, learning series that I am starting as a dev blog as well as a resource for others that are somewhat familiar with Rust uh, but want a more practical approach either building projects or different exercises. So this series is not to teach basics of Rust. Uh, there are a lot of other good YouTube videos out there that, that can teach you the basics of Rust. But in this series, uh, my plan is to just use the basics of Rust learning and uh, try to implement some of the projects that I have found um, in other languages, uh, for instance, Go or C Sharp and uh, we will try to recreate them in uh, in the rest language i will be trying to uh, post a video uh, either every weekend or every other weekend and ultimately uh, we'll be trying to implement some awesome project using rust so a complete project with a backend database etc uh, this is the first video of uh, this series in this series in this specific video we will be building a very simple HTTP uh, web server. This video is uh, based on another YouTube video for Go projects. I will provide a link to that um, uh, original video in the, in the video description, as well as the link to source code for this video and the uh, original Go language video. And um, we let's jump into the code portion. So I will first go over the cargo.toml file. For building this simple HTTP web server, we could use Hyper, the bare bone, or we could use Tokyo, but I decided to use Tide. Uh, I did not find a lot of resources uh, available for Tide and the async STD, so I just tried to use them uh, for my learning purpose as well as to have some more contents out there. And we are using Sarde for uh, for using the deserialization in our example. It's not a very complex project, very simple implementation and just few things that we have. So looking at the code before I dive into the uh, details at high level, uh, we will have three routes. One is the base URL that will render the index.html file. Then we have a hello route and it will just return a simple message back to the caller. And uh, lastly, we will have the form route uh, where user will provide a form and um, server will return a response accordingly. And that's where we will use the start date. <clears throat> so starting from the top, to the line number one, we are adding the path buffer uh, that will help to construct uh, actual folder path. Then we are adding some tied uh, dependencies or the modules in our project. So we have a request a structure that we're gonna use. Uh, we are creating our own structure. Um, in Rust called info with two fields, name and address. So user will provide these values, will deserialize into our structure and we will uh, print. And we are using this drive attribute from Sarde for the, for the deserialization. Moving on, on the line number 11, we are using async std main. So that will, uh, this attribute, attribute will tell us that um, uh, this will be an async function and uh, it is returning a tight result. We'll print the server is up on 8080, port 8080. Uh, then we just create a tight app and the static folder path is where we'll keep our index.html or any other static files if it was uh, actual project like images or uh, other things. Now uh, at the root path, we will serve the index.html if there is no other route uh, parameters or the values are provided. And uh, next, we are 
looking into the hello route so if someone enters this port 8080 and the hello route they will receive this hello server is a message back and um, then we have a form route that will be used for the posting the form data and we have a form handler function that I will go over next so on line 20 line 22 we are using the get method while on line 24 we are using a post method so that will also cover uh, both the static files then we have get method and the post method and looking at quickly also it's very simple implementation uh, looking at the farm handler so once we receive the request we will use the form body method of tie request object to get the actual contents of the form body and uh, using the deserialization will convert into the info object and we will just simply uh, print um, the name and the address uh, so you're not print but also written this back to the client so once we have all this we'll go and do cargo build if you are building it first time after you get the code from GitLab uh, it will download all the libraries and um, you should be able to then um, compile it and run the project so next we will do cargo run to launch it I will open another window I will open another window here okay and first thing we do is call the port 8080 so we see it returns just the index.html uh, I'll show the contents of the index.html next but it did work and we got the contents back now for the next one if I call the hello route it should return hello server is up message that we uh, previously saw in on line number 22 last one is we will call the form method or the form route of this so for that we are using post method on port 8080 with the form route and we are passing as part of the form uh, as part of the HTTP body we are passing name and the address values and we get the status 200 and uh, we got the message back that form value name equals test and address is test add so this was a quick short tutorial i hope it was helpful uh, again i will put all the links in the description below and see you guys in the next video thank you